Hi there, Ben. 26 degrees with sunshine for the tennis in New York. Here at home, the weather is changing. In many parts of the UK, things have started to turn a little cloudier. We've got some outbreaks of rain developing. Hello there, good afternoon. We started off this morning on a rather damp and drizzly note for many across the capital, as you can see from our Weather Watcher photos here. Now, as we head through the rest of the afternoon and indeed the weekend, always watch out for the possibility of a few showers at times, but there will be a lot more dry weather than wet, some bright and some sunny spells, and temperatures are above the average for this time of year. It is still feeling quite pleasantly warm, particularly in the best of the sunshine. Hello there. Well, it's been a relatively quiet day weather-wise to round off the working week, but for the weekend, not quite the same story. Looking rather unsettled, some showers or longer spells of rain coming our way, potentially some heavy and thundery downpours in the mix. But despite all of that, still on the warm side and actually feeling quite humid with it too. Now, after the unprecedented dry spell for many of us, the weather is taking a turn with rain on the way. Becky is in Redbourne in Hertfordshire for us tonight at a pop-up farm. Becky. Yes, welcome to the pop-up farm. We are just northwest of St Albans in Hertfordshire, as you say, and this is a pick-your-own sunflower and pumpkin farm. Two crops that the weather really has not been very kind to this year. Now, arguably, it has been perfect summer holiday weather, warm, dry and sunny, but that combination has brought on the earliest harvest for many, many years. Here in Hertfordshire, they've only seen half the expected summer rainfall. Add that to the temperatures, the joint warmest summer on record. And for the sunflowers, at least, it's been a case of third time lucky. This year, we planted the perfect planting conditions and then we had a thunderstorm about a day later and it just capped the top of the soil and they decided that was too much for them to come out and say hello so they didn't grow and before we knew that it was like a couple of weeks we planted again no rain so what do we do so we then planted again so here were our harvest is late and they're just coming to full bloom now but amazingly they have grown they've grown half a meter in a little over a week so fabulous and they will be beautiful for the next week Well, apparently the tallest sunflower ever recorded was 22 feet, so it is going to need a bit of rain to get to that. But we do have rain in the forecast for this weekend, so good news for gardeners and growers. But it's showers, though, so not everyone's going to get it, but definitely it's better than nothing. Have you heard that sunflower is better than nothing? Let's have a look at the forecast. So let's have a look at the detail for the all-important weekend forecast. The last weekend for many of the school summer holidays, although some, of course, already back. And here are some words we haven't seen for a while. Increasingly unsettled in weather talk. That means the potential of rain. Heavy rain or showers, in fact, becoming windier as well, but not cold. In fact, it's going to be a pretty warm and humid weekend. So the chance of rain is certainly good news for the farmers and it's very good news for the pumpkins as well because the drought so far this year have meant that the pumpkins are going to continue to be rather small but perfectly formed. This one is my favourite. I love the shape of it. It looks exactly like a telephone, don't you think? Very peculiar and perfect for any small boy. See you later. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'll call you later. Thanks. <laughs> Hello. The weather has been changing during today. We've seen things starting to turn more unsettled. Something of a pincer movement, really. We've seen these shower clouds down to the south, starting to introduce some pretty hefty downpours into some southern areas. Also, a stripe of cloud working in from the west in association with this. This will be our weekend weather maker, an area of low pressure that will churn to the west of the UK, throwing frontal systems in our direction. And where you're close to the centre of the low across western areas, that's where you're going to see the lion's share of the rain, especially Northern Ireland and southwest Scotland. This chart shows rainfall accumulations we're expecting through the weekend. The deep blue and green colours show that parts of Northern Ireland and southwest Scotland could see 50 to maybe close to. 100 millimetres of rain, which could cause some disruption. So, spells of heavy, thundery rain, always wettest in the west, and it will often be quite windy. Dare I say, it will feel quite autumnal.
And during Saturday nights, we're watching the southwest of England and Wales. See the white lines, the isobars squeezing together a swathe of really strong winds here, actually, particularly around some of the coasts. Could be gusts of around 45 or 50 miles per hour. So a windy start to Sunday. Outbreaks of rain continuing to drift northeastwards. More wet weather for a time in Northern Ireland, more especially the southwest of Scotland. Drier for northeast Scotland and southeast England, but blustery in the north and still quite windy down towards the southwest. Thanks, Tom. Uh, good evening, everybody. Well, I tell you what, the weekend fast approaching. And if you've been watching the national forecast, you'll know there's a change on the way and low pressure is in the driving seat. But I can also tell you that actually it's not going to be too bad for London over the weekend. In fact, today we had some blue sky and sunshine, slightly hazy sunshine. There was some high cloud in the sky. This is the low pressure that's going to park itself out in the Atlantic through the weekend. That is going to bring a lot of rain, but mostly out to the west. And with that sunshine, it will be largely warm. The low pressure is going to stay out to the west and there's a greater chance of seeing some showers as we go through the week ahead. And if that happens and we do get those showers, well, then it will just be that little bit cooler and fresher. Hello there. September can often be a contrasting month as the battle between summer and autumn really take shape. In fact, on Friday, we saw a high of 27 Celsius, 80 Fahrenheit in Suffolk. It was pretty humid as well, but out to the west was a different story. And as we head through the weekend, we will see heavy thundery rain with the wettest of the weather continuing out to the west and the winds, well, strengthening to gusts in excess of 40 miles an hour at times. Take care.